morning everyone welcome back to the channel we are here for another Wednesday update and this time Gary Goldtooth is back with some feathered friends and these horses are held here at Fort Pinta just like the seahorse one did so we're gonna go ahead and check them out um, they're right over here um, you can sort of see them in the distance where a bunch of these people are standing so let's go ahead and check it out. Um, so there are two horses. They are of the Irish Cobb um, model. So there is the pink one, which is Solas, and she is the one that has the Pandorian colors. It does say it's Pandorian energy. They are cold tolerant and they are 850 star coins. Now, the thing that I like about this horse and maybe it's just me. Um, it's, I know that others are a little off put by her coloring, but she's literally the exact same color as the, the Star Squad colors. So we are making her our official spirit horse. So, um, which you don't need to own this horse to join the Star Squad, but um, she is our official spirit horse and we will be using her in photo shoots so you'll probably see a lot of her um, throughout if you follow us on social media and so forth but um, for anybody who is curious this is the star squad the star squad colors and she is gonna be one of our horses so that's exciting so welcome to the family Solas. <laughs> um, of course again members do not have to buy her um, it's optional but those that do buy her, um, we will be using her for photo shoots and stuff like that. I do like um, her colors. I know that a lot don't. I just noticed her eyeball is slightly tinted pink, like the white of her eye. And she does have a slight pink muzzle as well. And then I do love her um, purple feathers on the um, feet. And then you could see details on her body with the feathering detail. And then this is the popular one that people loved when it, this was posted on social media. This is Dorcha. Dorcha is the cave dwelling one who looks like a peacock. Um, this one is actually, I love blues and I've been wanting a peacock horse forever. Um, I don't know how many people are familiar with um, Deviant Arts uh, horse role playing community, but there was a breed there that was based off of the peafowl bird. Wow. <laughs> the word for bird just like flew out of my head and I, okay, that's, I'm not funny. I should probably just realize that by now. This horse's eye does have a dark blue um, background, which gives it more of like a cat eye appearance with the bright blue. And I love that. I do think, um, I for the normal colors, this horse is like a bay pinto, and then this one is like the black and white pinto. And I do like the um, bay pinto coloring more, which over here um, somebody has, and then somebody has the black and white one. But the black and white ones, uh, the black and white one has a blue tint, and the uh, bay one has more of like a creamy, warm texture. And then of course over here is the uh, matching pets. Um, Am I blind? There's supposed to be a, there's an owl too, but where's the owl? Um, well, there is, oh, the owl's over here. These people are hiding it. Um, so there is a blue owl, and then there is a um, pink pe uh, seagull. So the blue owl is uh, the dreamy dawn owl. With its head in the clouds, it's challenging to catch this owl's attention. They feel most at home in lush forests and fields. It is 400 star coins. And then the seagull, which is called... I do... Um, the seagull is called the deep sea gull. <laughs> 
funny. This brooding seagull is very fussy. So many squawks you hear it from them. Be wise and thoughtful. Unlike those, most gulls, this bird enjoys a healthy diet of leafy greens and legumes. Um, I do appreciate the model of the seagull. I, I, I'm not going to say that I don't like the model of the owl, but the owl, as you can see, it's sort of just gliding there, which is weird because, I mean, I, I want it to have a little bit more animation. I want it to flap its wings like the seagull does because if a bird is standing in a spot, it's not going to just glide like that. Um, it sort of looks like a, a bird balloon, which I think I said when I got my, um, uh, rune, not rune, what's it called? Ferris owl. I, it is morning. My coffee has had two drinks out of it. I should have drank it more before I recorded, but it is what it is. <laughs> and so the owl just sort of floats there and that, that bothers me, but, um, the seagull actually flaps its wing and again it is in the star squad colors so that matches our club uniform except for the body it's like a little bit paler pink than um uh, solas's body but on this particular account i think i'm gonna get dorcha because um I'm going to be focusing more on on uh, the uh, Solas on my main account. So I'm going to go ahead and get this horse. And I am going to name her... I don't think I have a bluebird on this account, so I'm going to name her Bluebird. Um, I have a bluebird on my other account, but that one is a blue roan horse. And again, always also blue. Alright, here is Bluebird. She, so here you can see the details more. Um, has a feathery texture along its belly. The back has the peacock look to it. That is a very close look at the rump. And here is that detail. Um, I like it. It's beautiful. And then of course it has like feathers on its feet. But look how pretty the gradient is. I just really love the color blue. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to get up on her. I'm just going to put a bridle on her and then for me I'm just going to change my outfit to a black and white outfit. There. <laughs> and then we're going to head over um, in case you guys didn't know the um, there is also a new item in the Moreland bonus shop for Lifetime Riders, so we're going to go check that out and then go take a look at her normal color. So let's head over to Moreland. All right, here we are in Moreland, and this is the normal horse coat color for the um, blue peacock or blue peafowl horse. I like it. But I also sort of improved out by the tail. The tail, I don't know, looks like a lobster's tail or something. I don't know. It looks like it's scaled, and I don't like it. <laughs> it bothers me. But I understand they're supposed to look like an armor plate over their head and over their tail. But that doesn't make it any less creepy in my brain. So um, there is a new Moreland, sh Moreland shop. If you click on this, it is the um, Cozy Camping Saddlebag, which I believe completes the set for the Cozy Camping Saddle. Wait, do we have a, did we get the saddle pad? I can't remember. Did we? Um, maybe. If we did, I think we did. I can't, I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> That is the free item if you're a lifetime rider for you in that shop. And that is really everything for this week's update. Next week, we are getting a new jumping course. It's probably a, a temporarily, temporary one. I said that weird. Temporary one in Jorvik Stables. It's Jorvik Stables. And it looks like we're getting some new clothes. I really hope that it's like normal clothes. 
like, you know, like a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or a hoodie or something like that. Um, something that I can wear on an everyday basis that goes with this hat, like this outfit. That is just my dream though. Leave a comment down below. Remember to keep it respectful as people have feelings and we are always going to be kind on this channel. So um, keep that in mind when you leave your comments and I will see you guys next week. Bye.